writers organize their information, often previewing what is to follow. Let's practice writing an introduction that contains a preview of our ideas. Please have your LearnZillion practice sheet in front of you because you will need it during this lesson. Each time we read a paragraph, we can determine the main idea by thinking about what the whole paragraph is about. It's like asking yourself, what is the big picture I get after reading this? Let's find the main idea of this paragraph. Read the paragraph, then circle the sentence on your practice sheet that tells the main idea. Pause the video while you work. Press play when you have finished. How did you do? After reading this paragraph, I can see that this paragraph is about natural disasters. This first sentence is the main idea of the paragraph. That means that choice B would be the correct answer, so I have circled it. Choice A is an opinion based on the information from the paragraph, so this would not be a correct choice. Choice C is a detail that is taken from the paragraph, so this would not be a correct choice either. Details are included in writing to give us more information about the main idea. Here is a draft of a text I have been working on. The introduction to this text needs more information because it does not help my reader know what is coming next in the passage. The introduction needs to preview the text. Read the draft to yourself. Pause the video while you read and press play when you have finished. As I read this first sentence, it tells me the essay will be about lions, but this leaves me with the question, what makes a lion king of the jungle? There are many things to know about lions, so my introduction should give me a hint as to what I am about to read. Let's see if we can make this introduction stronger by adding supporting details. To do this, we'll find the main idea of each paragraph. Here is the first body paragraph from our text. It gives me a lot of information about where lions used to live and where they live today. Other details from this paragraph tell me more about the habitat of the lions. So what is the big idea of this paragraph? Take a look at the choices on your practice sheet. Circle the main idea of this paragraph. Pause the video while you work. Press play when you are done. Did you choose choice A? Great job! The whole paragraph has to do with the range of the lion, so this will be something I want to include in my introduction. Information about prides and the landscape features give us more information about the range of a lion. Now let's look at the second body paragraph. This part of the text, like the last paragraph, has a main idea supported by details. Let's pick out the important information in this paragraph. I see that lions rub, lick, and purr. They roar to communicate, and male roars can be heard up to five miles away. Do you see a sentence in this paragraph that might be the main idea? Write that sentence on your practice sheet. Press the pause button while you write. Press play when you have finished. Did you find the sentence? Each of these ideas already highlighted refer to different behaviors of lions. Therefore, the first sentence, lions have very social behaviors, is the main idea of this paragraph because it tells me that the rest of the paragraph will be about behaviors. It gives me the big picture of the paragraph and should be included in my introduction. Great work. Try this one on your own. Read the paragraph and determine the main idea. Write the main idea on your practice sheet. Pause the video while you work and press play when you have finished. Let's see how you did. Since there are many points about how lions hunt in this paragraph, I think the main idea is the first sentence. This is a general sentence that tells us this whole paragraph will be about hunting. We will want to say something about hunting in our introduction. Now that we know the main ideas of each of these body paragraphs, we can use that information to help us write our introduction. Remember our opening sentence of our introduction? Using the three main ideas from the body paragraphs, add two to three sentences to the introduction so that it previews the text. While you work, pause the video. Press play when you have finished. Doesn't your introduction sound better now? Here is how I rewrote my introduction. The first sentence tells me the text will be about lions, and the next two sentences tell me what topics regarding lions will be discussed. 
I use the main ideas from my three body paragraphs to write my introduction. Here is a sentence about the lion's range, and this next sentence talks about their behaviors and hunting habits. By including the main ideas from the body paragraphs in my introduction, I have given my reader a preview of what I will be talking about in my text. When an introduction previews a text, the reader will have a better understanding of the topic because they will know what to expect as they read. Here is our final revised draft. Read the first part of this draft to yourself. Notice how the first paragraph now gives me a preview of what will follow in the text. Pause the video while you read. Press play when you are ready to read the remaining text. Now read the last part of this draft. Pause the video while you read. Press play when you are ready to move on. This is a new story that needs a better introduction. Read this draft and revise it using what you learned in this lesson. Pause the video while you write. When you are done, press play again. Now reread your own writing and decide if your introduction is a good preview of your text. Be sure to use the main ideas from the body paragraphs to help build your introduction. This will make your writing more organized and clear for your reader.